but online I go as hate copy. I was born and raised in Pakistan. I moved to Canada when I was nine. I would watch so much Bollywood. Yeah, I ate curry every day. Like that's my favorite food to this day. I love, I love dal and rice. Like that's like my thing. As a kid, I didn't really realize that that was something that was, that I was being shamed for until I started going through like my preteens, like my teenage years. That's when the bullying kind of became a little bit harsher too. Kids would throw things at me, follow me home and like just yell things. People were bullying me or getting at me because of the way I was and I thought that that was a message to me saying who you are is wrong and it's disgusting and stop being that. It, it got to a point where I was hiding from myself because I was so embarrassed, I was so ashamed. But as I grew older, I just kind of realized that that was such a harsh thing to do. And so I started putting it into my work. I started drawing the South Asian pop art stuff a couple of weeks after I was laid off from my advertising job. I don't have a job. I don't have a career. I'm like, what am I gonna do? So I woke up one morning and I was like, I just wanna draw today. I'm not looking for anybody's approval. I can actually just be me and not be judged for it for once in my entire life. So I drew an auntie <laughs> that's saying, I birthed the rotis. And I posted it that afternoon and it just blew up. Little by little, the drawings kind of became snippets from my own life. Like, oh, I'll just throw on a sweatshirt on top of this crop top, my parents would never know. Or, stop telling me to get married, mom, I'm 12. It's not cool. These are things that were literally things that I was going through as a kid. So we'd see like a picture of me posted in like the Toronto Star or like my work featured in like Vogue and like things like that. It obviously ends up in other people's news feeds as well. So every time I check Facebook, I see like who liked those things on my feed. And sometimes it's the kind of people that you go, hey, weren't you the one that was calling me a packy in elementary school? Like, weren't you that guy? But it's a small sense of satisfaction that, hmm, I guess you realize that you were wrong that whole time. Something like this would have meant a lot for me as I was a kid because I didn't have anybody to kind of look at and go, who you are is okay. It's not gross to be in love with Bollywood or to enjoy Indian soap operas. It's not unusual to eat kebab rolls. You know, it's not unusual to be you. So I think that's one good reason why people are relating to this stuff and I like that.